Hey YouTube, how are you? So today I'm going to do a video showing you how you can strip a tumbler. So this won't be a very long video, but I wanted to show you guys how I strip my tumblers. I don't do it very often. Um, I usually can save a tumbler, but I do have one tumbler that it's, um, I didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm going to strip it so I can redo it. So I wanted to show you guys how I strip a tumbler. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing is you're going to need two bags. I usually use two like Walmart bags, trash bags, whatever. And then you can get your cup that is messed up. This cup is messed up because it, if you guys can see, the red kind of faded and was running. So I don't like to give people cups like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strip this 30 ounce. And then I have this uh, stripper here. You can buy this at any hardware store. You can buy this at Walmart. Um, it's not expensive. I think it's like two something or three something at Walmart. And this is, it, it's, uh, it will strip off any paint. Um, it takes off the epoxy. Now, there's other ways that you can do this, but I like this because what I like to do is just let it soak. So what we're gonna do is, and you wanna do this outside. Do not do this inside your house. It is definitely um, not good um, to do it in your house, period. So make sure that you have gloves and you're going to saturate this cup. Put it in the bag and you're gonna close it up and then you're gonna leave it and you can check it um, in a couple hours and see how it looks or you can give it a couple of days to let it soak. So we're gonna go, make sure you do this in a ventilated area. So I'm gonna come out here on my porch. I got my gloves on. And I have this bucket that we're gonna use. Sorry about all the movement, but. All right. And you wanna make sure that you do not leave this sitting out where any animals can get it. So I have this bag doubled. So what I'm gonna do is put it in this bucket. Okay. I'm gonna try to open it. All right. And then we're gonna take our spray. All right, and we're gonna shake this, shake it really well. So you can see I have the cup in there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to saturate the cup. Then you have gloves, so I can actually pick it up. And then afterwards, we can put it back in there. Hold on. All right, so let's do it like this. The wind's blowing. So you see it's like turning, it's like orange. So you're gonna saturate the whole cup. Sorry, I'm trying not to get off of cam, but it's kinda hard doing this. I'm trying to record. Make sure you get your bottom really good. The rim. So we're just going to let this soak and we'll come back and check it in a couple hours. So we're going to leave it in our Walmart bag. Like I said, make sure that no, you know, animals can get to, so what I'm going to do, I have it double bag. We're going to tie it, we're going to tie it up and then we're going to leave it in our bag. <clears throat> And that's it. And then we'll come back and we'll check it in a couple hours. All right, guys. So we're going to go and we're going to check. Oh, 
sorry about the weather. First of all, I'm in Florida, so we are having thunderstorms and it's raining. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what our cup looks like. We've been soaking it. Um, I let it soak for uh, 24 hours. So we're gonna see how it's processed within the 24 hours. So I have a pair of gloves. Make sure you wear gloves. I have a paper towel and then I got acetone. So let's put our gloves on. Always wear gloves and make sure you're outside so you have good ventilation. <clears throat> Eye protection won't hurt either. Just making sure you don't get anything, you know, flicking in your eye or anything like that. Okay. So my bag is wet because I kept it outside and it's been raining. So but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this. Remember, this was in two bags. All right, look at this. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can back you up a little bit more so that you guys can see. There we go. Okay, so see how um, I let this sit in the bag for, you can let it sit for a week. I mean, and it, it's gonna do this. So look how amazing this looks, guys. Oh my gosh. So a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, I'll just throw it away or do not throw your cups away, guys. Come on, but look at this, look at this. It's just peeled off. Okay, and that's what you want. So that stuff works just like it's supposed to. I mean, look at this. Amazing, right? Do not dispose your cups. Keep them. This stuff costs us money. You know, this stuff isn't free. So again, you know, let this soak. You could let it soak for a week. Make sure you leave it outside or in your garage, somewhere where, you know, the heat can kind of activate um, the spray. But look at that. So once you get everything peeled off, I mean, I couldn't ask for this to come off in a better presentation. So good. So this is the reason why you want to wear gloves because, you know, this is epoxy and you don't want this stuff stuck to your fingers. There's some spots that might be a little hard, like there's a hard spot right there. But as you pick, you can use like a scraper and this will come right off. No big deal. So once you get all of this cleaned off, you're going to take your acetone and you're going to clean the cup with your acetone. That's with the acetone and your paper towel is for. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do the video like exactly what it looks like once it's all clean, but you see the, the product that we sprayed on here is working wonders. So just put it on there, let it sit um, a couple of days or 24 hours or I, I'm going to tell you this works way better though when you have it sitting in heat because the heat starts to activate the product. So yeah, that's what it looks like guys. Amazing. Amazing. So, you know, this cup has been saved once I get all this stuff off. And it's best to use, um, you know, a scraper and just kind of scrape along the sides and get all of this stuff off. But let me just show you an example of what the acetone could do, okay? Let me open this. So this is just um, polish remover. I like this one because it came with a squeegee. You can buy this at Walmart and it you can refill it. So you always keep this. It's like $2 for a big, huge bottle of this. And it works wonders, so. And it lasts forever, so it's not like you're. All right, so we're gonna take just a little, just squeeze it down, get it on your rag, and then look. This, oops, sorry, you're bouncing. So you just wipe it. You see how clean this is coming? Just, so this is gonna help pull all that product off. 
Once you've gotten all the product off, then you can go ahead and wash it in the sink with your Dawn soap, get all the oils, any product on it off. Okay, so I'm hoping that this video helps somebody. I've had several people asking me how to strip, how do I strip, you know, my cups. So that's why I did this video because when I first started, you know, I didn't know how to strip a cup and I had to do some research. Um, I followed some YouTubers that were, you know, figuring out products too. And they're using different things, but this is what's working for me. I mean, I can show you guys in the bag, like the product is just falling off. So, I mean, it's just, it was already falling off before I even touched it. But look. Look, it's all in the back. And the reason why I double bag this is so that way it, it's holding in the, the product a little better. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and welcome all of my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Please continue sharing my videos and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.